Google could lose everything if the first level petition reveals a negative answer. Agba Koba, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Dr. Olisa Agbakoba, San, a renowned Nigerian lawyer, has recently spoken out about the technicalities involved in the petition against Bola Metenbo's victory in the Nigerian presidential election. According to Dr. Agbakoba, there had been two levels to P2B's petition, with the first being the technical level. During an appearance on the Rice Television, Dr. Agbakoba stated that the technical level of a petition does not require any documentation from INEC, the Nigerian Electoral, Tr Electoral Commission. Rather, it relies solely on jurisdictional issues that do not require any factual evidence. Specifically, he pointed out that Tenobu did not win 25% of the vote in Abuja, a fact that is already stated in the petition. The main legal question at this point, according to Dr. Gbakuba, is whether or not Tenobu's failure to win 25% of a vote in Abuja is a fatal flaw. This question does not require any additional document from INEC, but rather, it is a legal question that must be determined by the court. If the court answers the question in the negative, then Tenobu will be declared the winner of the election. However, if the court answers the question in the affirmative, then Tenobu will lose the case. Dr. Gbakuba also mentioned another question that would be considered in the petition, which is the potential consequences of Tenobu's vice president being on the ballot for a senatorial seat. This is based on Section 35 of the Nigerian Constitution, and the answer to this question will be determined by the court. Is this not the same man that is coming out? <laughs> <laughs> and said that this a this case on the three of them that he might not win. What is going on? <laughs> oh wow. I go for explaining with the heads of obedience. Both cases have been resolved by the Supreme Court already. When? Who resolve them? Double nomination from form from Shetima, Senator plus Vice Presidential against Electoral Law, Father Mayor will be done and let the enemies of this nation be scattered. <laughs> Some people want to turn to uh, we said they call them prayer warrior. Hmm. Please, when when they resolve this court, the case, I support a live telecast of election tribunal proceedings, especially the presidential election tribunal proceedings. I'm telling you, you see all this material that they're saying they're holding. Eh? If God just storm and a coffee today, tell us all, yeah, everybody, everybody sets, news people set, every, everybody sets, press sets. APC sit down, PDP sit down, everybody, oh yeah, bring the materials out, let them do it. Life, sincerely, things will they work for the see, the way then they do, you know, this mago mago thing, the thing don't tire everybody. If they do it like that, crystal clear, everybody have you, you, as in, you are viewing it, you are seeing it, as then they do them, then they give APC, then they copy them to flash drive each, and they give to these people, and so yeah, oh, Make copies of it so you don't say got lost or you don't say got stolen or no super stories. You give everybody their own after copying, and as they are doing it, everybody's seeing it. I'm telling you, all of you should rest. The works at the election tribunal will soon begin, and it will be interesting. No need to be insulting people here. Go to court, and you went to court, so let the court decide. This <laughs> okay, obedience can never be distracted with all this at, at, uh, propaganda every day. APC are scared of the presidential election petition will be submitted. APC are scared of the court. And they say they win. If you want free and fair, why are you supposed to be shaken? This lawyer explained with her brain the two cases have been resolved by the Supreme Court already. We know he has said not resolve them. I be, you don't turn to a uh, uh, treasonable felon, you will be saying they already, they already press, no, they, they already allow press inside the uh, courtroom. Hmm. Okay. Tenembo never won the president elect. You know, you know all about it unless you are deaf or blind to the truth. Yes, now. What do you think is going on? With due respect, Mr. Gbakoba, the Nigeria election says whoever wins presidential election must have 25% at least in 24 states out of 30 states. The law did not include FCT. It is better for you to join P2B's legal team. Haba. Please close the section you got your own, otherwise you are just commenting. <laughs> Sake. I wanted to say, ah, uh -uh. with FCT, including FCT, now that including FCT, then they cost Wala so. <laughs> Agreed on 24 states, the two number got 24 states, no, but only 12 states. So, in your submission, you perfectly said that a rule that Tenable is not the one that won, which means the election should be repeated, period. <laughs> okay, the worst thing that can happen to a wise man to allow themselves to be used by a wicked criminal fool just because of monetary inducement. The court should be wiser this time. 
If you sell your conscience in the name of money, your buyer will not trust you. And eventually, after you, I am telling you, this is it. For all those who are busy betraying their own, just because of money's sake. As I like I remind you now, that person where they buy your conscience. You get time you go reach up, you say you go once make it trust. You go look at it, you say you will sell your conscience for, for me for this so amount. Not be some that person go also buy your own. A rare opportunity for CJ to make a world history like Mandela, Martin Luther, and another great man of the world. My candid advice is to whom it may concern, especially this Chief Justice. This is an opportunity for him to write his name in the gold, in gold in world history book, which is the best treasure that is bigger than riches. Like the honor professor at Abia who chose the course of integrity than riches. Today, her actions made her world and more popular. Those who took negative decisions in the past all regretted it. These are the stories you cannot tell the Chief Justice how to do his work because of a tribal man. <laughs> I agree, oh, nobody can tell the Chief Justice how to do his work, but he's just saying. Okay. The two cases the two cases have been resolved by the Supreme Court already just last week. The Supreme Court threw out articles case of double registration for lack of locals. Secondly, the constitution treats Abuja as one of the states in election according to the Supreme Court when Jonathan was president. Okay. Dr. Bakoba, you excellently write. The truth is very glaring, only waiting for the right constitutional authority to declare it. Well, these two points can settle the matter as expected. No need to bring up issues on vote swapping. From all indications, the sign is interpreting his views based on already laid down electoral rule. If Abuja is not considered a special enclave that must be conquered before overwinning, over, overall winning is made, the law would not have mentioned it. Abuja is not a state but must be a determining factor as stipulated by the electoral law. The law would have stopped at 25% of its thought but moved further to highlight it as a condition. In the light of the above, Nigerians are waiting and watching the court. Yes, so all eyes on the court. Are you saying that the apparent non application of the Electoral Act and INEC guidelines is immaterial? What happens if sufficient evidence is established to prove the margins of win came from allocated votes? My dear, I don't know. My only problem is that if Tenobo becomes president, he will abolish NDLEA, that is National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. He will also dissolve NAFDAQ. Tenebo will remove custom officers from all border posts. He will silence EFCC and ICPC, but he will beat police station everywhere because police are number one enemy of Nigerians who did not vote for him at all. He will return SAS. When I do not say na police, then use real election. And it will become independent National Selection Commission, INSC. All right, so those note you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.